GameRanks presents the 10 best new games of E3 2015. We couldn't include Fallout 4, Battlefront, NFS, and Just Cause 3 because they were announced prior to the conference. Number 10, Gears of War 4. After announcing a complete remake of Gears of War, the Coalition decided, oh hey, let's start a new saga as well. There is some pretty sweet rumors flying around about this, including that there may be land multiplayer. Not much is known, but really the game looks slick. Next gen graphics are definitely kind to the franchise, and we've seen a pretty sweet new monster in this new version of the game. If you're a fan of the original Gears of War or any of its sequels, I'm sure this is going to be a big deal for you. Number 9, Hitman. After a not particularly well-reviewed entry to the franchise, Hitman is back, and they are making promises about how you're going to be playing Hitman that say it's a lot more like the old games and therefore more what people are looking for in the franchise. On top of what looks like the more open approach of the older games, the contracts mode apparently has become significantly more enhanced, allowing for custom missions that can be played by you and your friends competitively. Hitman is going to be a big deal. It's really Really great to see such an awesome game sort of come back into its own and that's what's happening with hitman number eight dreams dreams is a sort of different animal altogether than what we're used to as games it's kind of like a mario paint that dropped mario and became everything that anyone could ever use to create interactive art it's hard to explain but really you should give the video a look I'm convinced you could make a movie with it if you really wanted to. It's pretty awesome. Number 7, For Honor. For Honor kind of reminds me of Dynasty Heroes, but more of a medieval rather than Japanese or franchise-oriented setting. It's a big fight, however your team is a lot bigger than in Dynasty Heroes. It kind of looks arcadey, but maybe a little bit more detailed than just that. The combat does look a little bit more deliberate than Dynasty Heroes, but on the other hand it really also looks like it's kind of a refined take on the idea. Number 6, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. The latest entry in the tactical shooter franchise, the game abandons the futuristic setting of Advanced Warfighter and Future Soldier, instead being set in present time more similar to Tom Clancy's original Ghost Recon. It will be the first in the series to feature an open world, with side missions and AI that apparently actually has an agenda of its own. Number 5, Dark Souls 3, impossibly unforgiving, with an approach to storytelling that a lot of people call peppering. Actually, I don't know if a lot of people call it that, I call it that. Dark Souls has given players an impossible challenge since the PlayStation 2 era, and seeing it realized in next generation graphics makes you realize what an epic big deal of a game Dark Souls actually is. But with the success of Bloodborne, how could From Studios honestly resist this? Number 4, Horizon Zero. Horizon Zero is a game that shockingly takes place quite a while after the apocalypse. Robots are kind of like animals and sort of what has taken over the world, while people have reverted to a more tribal state. It's kind of like Turok Dinosaur Hunter in third person with robots, and there's nothing about that that doesn't sound utterly fantastic. I want. Number 3, Shenmue 3. What started off as the passion project of a man named Yu Suzuki that he miraculously convinced Sega to allow him to create in the first place somehow managed to make a sequel sometime later on the Xbox has now managed to reach an even more impossible status well over a decade later. Shenmue is iconic, the level of storytelling, the music, it is a beautiful game and knowing that the saga will finally continue is extremely exciting. Number 2, Dishonored 2. Dishonored out Bioshocked Bioshock, and now it looks like it's about to out Dishonor itself. The scale of what was shown in the Dishonored 2 trailer is massive. You get to play as Emily Caldwell now, which is frankly probably the best development of the whole thing. Dishonored's gameplay is awesome, and they did such a great job making you care about the characters the first time around. I can't wait to catch up with them. Number 1, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. 
if you didn't go nuts when you saw this, you have no idea what hype is. It doesn't matter if you've played it before. This is going to be the biggest thing that has happened in gaming since the original version of the game. We did a full video of speculation on this very game, so if you really want to get in-depth on it, go check that out. While you're at it, please like and favorite this video, and make sure to subscribe to Game Ranks as well. Come back to youtube.com slash GameRanksTV as often as you can because there's a constant stream of great videos all the time. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you're ready for the new heyday of gaming because it really seems like that's what just happened.